Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Counting on alum, Joanna Duggar Forsyth is making some people scratch their heads following her latest post. The 26-year-old has been living happily with her husband, Austin. The two have been sharing their adventures with their kids, but many were caught off guard by Joanna's behavior while on their way to their destination. One of the latest updates from Joanna was about the first birthday of her son, Gunnar. The Counting on Alum did a simple celebration at home. Many were also surprised when Jim, Bob, and Michelle came over to celebrate their grandson's special day. According to some, it just shows that the ninth Duggar child is still in touch with her parents despite her decision to step away from some of their beliefs, especially regarding dress codes. Some Redditors are calling out Joanna Duggar Forsyth after sharing a clip of herself taking her shoes off on a commercial flight. The counting on alum even laid her foot on top of her husband's lap, making many Reddit users uncomfortable. According to the poster, such behavior is rude and disturbing to other people. However, several commenters were not surprised and believed that Jim, Bob, and Michelle never taught their kids proper etiquette. I fly a lot. These are the people that make flights suck. It's also just rude. At least keep them under your seat and not flopping out in nearly the aisle. Feral Duggar syndrome strikes again. Not surprised they weren't taught proper etiquette. And these dusty, crusty, musty-ass hill critters have the nerve to go around the world telling other cultures they're dirty. God really do be making anybody. It's really stupid to go barefoot on a plane. If there's an emergency, you want to be ready. People have and do survive emergencies, and wearing rubber-soled shoes has actually saved people. They've never been taught good manners. They have no idea how to behave around anyone outside their bubble. Joyanna also took to YouTube to share a vlog featuring her anniversary trip with Austin. According to the Counting on Alum, it's her longest trip with her husband without the kids. She later shared glimpses of their activities in Colorado. They also stayed at Wander's Smart House in Crested Butt. They were also with several family members during the trip, such as Katie and Jed Duggar. Many fans also commended Austin and Joy Anna Duggar Forsyth for giving time to each other amid their busy lives as parents. Joy, I'm so happy for you. If anyone ever deserved this getaway, it's you. Congratulations on your anniversary. Happy anniversary. Many hugs to you both. Austin looks younger without the beard. That's so wonderful. I am so happy that you all had an opportunity to get away and celebrate your seven-year anniversary without your kiddos and with some dear friends and family. Counting on alum, Joanna Duggar Forsyth is one of the most active daughters of Jim, Bob, and Kelly Joe on social media today. She's been sharing her life as a mother to three kids. The 26-year-old likes to share her trips with Austin as well. But the ninth Duggar child caught the attention of many after going on another honeymoon with Austin. Joanna has been living a more worldly life with Austin over the past few months. The counting on alums shocked many people after taking a dance class, which is forbidden in the IBLP. However, Joyanna has already clarified that she and Austin have never been followers of the IVLP since they became a couple. Aside from the dancing, Joyanna is starting to wear more revealing clothes as well. In May, Austin flirted with his wife after seeing her trying out bodysuits, showing off some skin. But despite her actions, many members of the family remain in touch and are close with Joyanna. Some Redditors react to Joanna Duggar Forsyth's statements during her latest vlog. According to the Counting on Alum, their trip to Colorado for their seventh wedding anniversary reminds her of their honeymoon. The poster mentioned that Joanna and Austin had their honeymoon in Switzerland, which was documented in the reality show. But it seems that the married couple decided to do it again privately. Meanwhile, Several commenters pointed out that such things were also done by other couples in the family. 
I decided for whatever reason to watch Joy and Austin vlog about their anniversary trip to Colorado. About two minutes and she talks that this is where they had their honeymoon. In counting on, they went to Switzerland. So you're telling me they went on two honeymoons? I guess they didn't want that one to be filmed. I think Jessa did the same, had a private honeymoon, and then the one they filmed in Paris. Jill firmly had her own private honeymoon and refused to film a pretend one. I'm not sure what Jinger did exactly. She had that infamous sex hair video saying they were in Australia, and it was pretty shortly after their wedding. The Bates also did the same thing. Tori had the Gatlinburg honeymoon for the show, and the California one privately. Josie had the Asheville honeymoon for the show, and the Bahamas as the private one. As long as they greeted everyone with hola, while they traveled, ETA to stay home topic. I think it's really common for all of these reality to people to have TV events, and actual private slash family events, when it comes to big things like this. Despite her positive content, Joyanna can't seem to escape criticism due to her actions. Recently, several Redditors called out the counting on alum for going barefoot during a commercial flight. What made it more disturbing was how she laid her foot on top of Austin's lap. According to some, it just shows that Joyanna Duggar Forsyth wasn't taught proper etiquette by her parents. I fly a lot. These are the people that make flights suck. It's also just rude. At least keep them under your seat and not flopping out in nearly the aisle. Feral Duggar syndrome strikes again. Not surprised they weren't taught proper etiquette. And these dusty, crusty, musty ass hill critters have the nerve to go around the world telling other cultures they're dirty. God really do be making anybody. Counting on Alum, Joyanna Duggar Forsyth has been keeping her followers in touch about her family. The 26-year-old mom likes to share heartwarming moments with Austin and their kids. But despite all the positivity, the mother of three admitted that she's been suffering from postpartum depression. Aside from that, she also took to social media to share another struggle with her daughter, Evelyn. In a YouTube post, Joy Anna shared a vlog featuring their latest river adventures. But later in the video, the counting on alum took her time alone in the car to open up about her postpartum struggles. According to the ninth Duggar child, she's suffering from postpartum depression much harder than her past two births. She also admitted getting into counseling and having blood work done before saying that it's been a challenge emotionally, physically, and mentally. Joyanna Duggar Forsyth recently uploaded a clip about her latest struggles with Evelyn. According to the former Counting On star, her daughter is starting to become picky with her clothes. The little girl even scolded her mom and told her that she was the only one who could pick her cute clothes. I guess I am new to this girl mom stuff. Evie changes her clothes three times a day, and Gideon, if I'd let him, changes his every three days, Joyanna Duggar Forsyth added. Meanwhile, some cheered for her struggles, while others related to her current situation. A true toddler tragedy. You got it, sister. Normal for all four of my girls. Oh mama, if you would just pick out the right cute clothes, lol, I feel your pain. I once buttered my toddler's toast on the wrong side. Lol. I would be asking Grandma Duggar how she handled that. She is such a treasure. Austin has also been taking extra steps to keep his wife happy. Earlier this year, the Counting on Alums took dance lessons, which is against the Duggar family's church. However, the two have already clarified that they've never been members of the IBLP as a couple. Austin has also been taking Joy Anna Duggar Forsyth to fun outdoor activities. In March, the married couple visited the massive rock where they officially became a couple eight years ago.